Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite iPad accessories and Apple Pencil accessories. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on iPad tips, tutorials, and digital planning. So subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. My iPad is the M2 iPad Pro in 12.9 inch and I have the second gen Apple Pencil which I use for digital planning, drawing and taking notes. I have a lot of accessories to show you so let's get straight into the video and I will try my best to link to everything in the description. I have a few iPad cases and I'll show you my favourite ones. I'm currently using this case which I purchased on Amazon. I like the look of it and the price was pretty affordable. And also the cover can be used as a stand. The only downsides are the cover magnet is not as strong as it could be and the inside cover does get dirty after a while. On the premium end, I have this case from the brand Zugu and I think this does a great job of protecting your iPad. It's sturdy and also makes a great stand because you can adjust the viewing angle. It is quite pricey however and didn't have as many color choices as I would have liked. I find iPad stands to be really useful, especially when I'm typing or using it to watch something. I have this one from Amazon that was fairly affordable and comes in this pretty pink color. If you don't mind that you can only adjust the tilt angle, then I think this is a great buy. I also have a couple of magnetic stands and these are great for rotating your iPad and adjusting the view height and angle. However, the downside is you can't use any iPad case with a magnetic stand. You have to use a special magnetic case or attach some magnetic stickers to your iPad. This one that I like is from the brand MagFit and I haven't noticed any issues with this. I know that some people say magnets are not entirely healthy for your iPad, but I do have to mention that I used a different brand and I did notice some weird darkening of the screen in the center, which went away after I restarted the iPad. So not sure what's going on there, but I don't use this particular stand anymore. I always use my Apple Pencil inside a sleeve because I find it gives me improved grip for neater handwriting. My favorite type of sleeve is the soft silicone type and here are a couple of my favorite ones that I'm using at the moment. Some sleeves will allow you to charge the Apple Pencil without you having to remove the sleeve but I haven't come across any that will allow you to fit your Apple Pencil inside an iPad case if you have the sleeve on. You can find some really cool designs like this one that makes your Apple Pencil look like an actual pencil and here is one from the brand Moco that makes your Apple Pencil look like a retractable click pen. This one is super fun to use, although I find it a bit too chunky for my hands. You can find different types of Apple Pencil tips, and if you're looking for something that's similar to the original Apple tips, I have this pack of colorful tips that I purchased on Amazon. I think these work as well as the original Apple brand ones, and these are more affordable. My favorite types of tips are these ones with a fine steel tip, because I feel like they provide more precision for handwriting and drawing. They do make more noise though, which I personally don't mind. And also I would not use them without a screen protector of some sort because there is a risk they could scratch your iPad screen. They definitely scratch up my screen protectors pretty badly. I have so many keyboards, it's difficult to pick which ones are my favorite. You can use any Bluetooth keyboard with your iPad and I use different ones depending on the situation. This first one I purchased on Amazon is fairly light and portable and was priced very reasonably. It has a design similar to the Apple Magic keyboard and I think it types pretty well. Logitech makes decent keyboards and I like the Pop Keys mechanical keyboard for using at home because it is fairly heavy. I like the sound this makes when typing and I think it types well. This Nuki typewriter keyboard is another favorite of mine just for the typewriter design alone. It's really fun to use, but definitely has its flaws like the weak backrest, which I never use anymore. And also it is fairly expensive. This Apple Pencil carry case is so cute and compact, I just had to get it, even though I don't find myself using it that much because my Apple Pencil is usually already protected in a sleeve. I think this would be great for traveling because it also has slots for extra pencil tips. I got the version that fits the Apple Pencil without any sleeve on, but I do remember seeing different ones that could accommodate a sleeve as well. I highly recommend getting a screen protector for your iPad and if you use it for any kind of note taking, digital planning or drawing then I would suggest getting a matte screen protector because I find that makes the screen less slippery when you're using the Apple Pencil. I have tried a bunch of different brands and honestly haven't come across the perfect one. Paperlike is very popular, I like it because it doesn't feel like sandpaper, however it is a bit more expensive and I personally wasn't blown away by the results. Also, it got scratched up pretty quickly by my Apple Pencil tips. 
I've heard lots of good things about this brand and the views on Amazon seem really positive, so this is what I want to try next. Out of the brands that I've used, I also liked this one. It writes well, however, it does feel very rough in texture, so just be aware that this type of surface will wear down your Apple Pencil tips faster. I have this soft carry pouch from Moco that fits my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. This is great for protecting your iPad from scratches, especially if you're not using an iPad case. It also has an extra pocket that can fit a small keyboard. For traveling, I have this hard case from TomTok that is really roomy. It can accommodate my iPad Pro as well as other accessories like Apple pencils, charging cables, and small keyboards. I love the Apple Pencil and I have shied away from non-Apple stylus pens until I tried one out recently. I purchased this one on Amazon which had very positive reviews and I have to say I am really impressed considering I only paid around $30 for this. I used this to write in my digital planner and I thought this performed very similar to the Apple Pencil. It doesn't have pressure sensitivity which isn't a huge problem for me because I don't use that feature anyways for note taking or drawing but just be aware of that limitation if you do need it. The other downside is that you can't switch the tips out with the standard tips that fit the Apple Pencil, so once you get through all the spare tips, I guess you will need to buy a new stylus unless you can find a pack of replacement tips. I have some Bluetooth mouses that work with the iPad, although I don't personally use them that much. This pink one from Amazon was pretty cheap and it does the job, but it doesn't work well with all types of surfaces. Anyways, let me know in the comments what are your favorite iPad and Apple Pencil accessories. Do you have any recommendations? Please give me a thumbs up if you found the video useful and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.